Greetings everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day crafting and making wonderful things. I have a couple of hauls that have been collecting. Um, I haven't got a chance to make videos for them because I was making videos for other stuff. Like the last video I made, um, I did my mini Brutus Monroe haul, which came in between all of these other hauls I'm going to show you. But on that last video, I am doing a little bit of a giveaway. So if you're interested, go check out that video. Um, I will try and post it in the links below. I've not done that yet, so cross your fingers that I figure that one out. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit. But uh, there's a little mini giveaway. All you have to do is comment on your favorite ink. Whether it be um, something new or something you've had for a long time or whatnot. Um, but the ink I'm talking about is like your ink, stamp pad inks, okay? Because as we can see, there's lots of kinds of inks. Um, which brings me to my Michaels order, okay? I got a couple of things there. These are the smaller ones, so I'll go through these first. This is a paint pouring medium and some acrylic inks. I don't have acrylic inks, but I'm assuming they're going to be similar to my other inks, my pot inks for um, actual calligraphy writing and whatnot. It comes with the three basic colors, so you can make purple, green, um, orange, and stuff. And you add it to this whitish colored pouring medium which dries clear so if you don't add anything to it it doesn't do anything and you're like making your own paint basically and then doing a paint pouring and that's something i'm very interested in i've done one video i made a four panel pour for my niece for her office um and i i need to do some more also at michael's on their clearance they have a ton of stuff at different prices in the clearance aisle I picked up some embossing folders. Some were a dollar, some were only 50 cents. I'm kind of stocking up on these because I also want to open an Etsy shop and actually sell some stuff because I've got so much craft supplies that I actually need to make more crafts. So, and when I make more, <laughs> I need to find another home besides my walls. So I picked up the cactus folder and I don't know if you've heard or if I just said this, but Darice is going out of business. So if you find her, her stuff, their stuff, you, you know, if it catches you, you can think, oh, I can make this with it. Pick it up. If something pops into your head, I can make this with this right on the packaging, you know making this with it if you order it online put it in the notes um when it says leave notes for the shippy or whatever just put in there you know folders for postcards oh yes postcards that would be great because then you just stamp it and then right on the other side and mail it off how fun would that be to receive a little cactus postcard um, I got the snowflake one. Yep, snowflake trim. I thought this would be cool to do and then do a little scenery in here with a little snowman or a little Santa in his sleigh, something like that. I got the thank you, which it's got a nice little border here. So if you have a cutting foundation rectangle, you can find one that would fit in there. And then you can pop up the outer edge. Yeah, that one would be nice. This one would make another good postcard. Just uh, color this, then put your paper and smish it down and send it off to in the postcard. Yeah. Some, um, oh, sorry. That, that was the thank you. This one is the butterfly on flower one. And then this one is three little panels called Birds, Butterflies, Flowers. Birds, Butterflies, Flowers. 
And then these ones is, uh, you just decorate the bottom of your panel. And again, you can ink it up before you smoosh the paper and stuff. Lots of, lots of options with that. Michaels is also having a sale on storage. I was look sorry I bumped you um I was looking for something to when I start making a an overabundance of cards I want them nice and pristine until they're sold and then I can drop them in the envelopes and mail them out so I can see unfortunately don't get me wrong these bins are sturdy they're they go in there nice and everything. I did pick up a little bad one. You can see it's kind of bent in there. So this little corner has an issue. You just wiggle it and it goes down. But um, they don't hold a lot. Okay. I mean, where's this one at? This one has got a couple of 5 by 7 style and then just a couple of the smaller ones and I can't fit much more in there so I think I need to figure out something else to do with my done cards and just use this for bits and pieces to make cards like if I do an excess of foiling put the foil bits in there if I make a lot of backgrounds put the backgrounds in there and then hmm Maybe I'll store these little things elsewhere and then put my done cards actually in here. Because without these, it would hold quite a bit in here. I don't know. I'll have to work that out. But see, these are a couple of done cards. This is a 6x6 six six panel. And it fits in there as long as I keep it away from the front. And I just... <laughs> you see, there's not enough room. I just cram stuff in there. So right now, I just checked before starting recording this, and um, they were $11.99, regular $20. I did buy this a few weeks ago when they were full price, but with a 50% off coupon. So I saved a little bit more th than the percentage that's going on now. See, there's a lot of room in here. If you take out the bins, this would hold a ton of stuff. So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll put the little plastic containers in something else. So that was Michael's. Um, always, 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 always buy on clearance. And save yourself a lot of money. Okay? I very, very rarely buy something at full price. There's just no need for it. <laughs> just no need. Like this, 40% off coupon. Bam. Bam done it's for me this is from Joann's Joann's is having a sale on their wooden stuff by place and time okay so this is like a little wooden tray um I bought some resin and I have some beautiful colors that I want to try and this just screamed at me paint some leaves and then resin and then so that people can actually use this if they wanted to. I want to resin it and sell it. I just thought it would be pretty, pretty to uh, paint some leaves or a nice little uh, inspirational saying and then resin with some glitter and some pretties. Embellish this somehow because it's kind of plain. But yeah, clearance, okay, clearance aisle. Clearance aisle. Check this out. Oh, oh, I forgot. I poked a hole in it because I wanted to see. Um, I had an idea. I got it home and I'm like, mm, this would be cute. And then somebody posted for um, a friend of theirs. Mom is turning 100 and something she liked was gardening. And I'm like, oh, I just bought these little wooden things. Well, I wanted to know how much more room they would take up and look there's no more room than my fattest pop dot so I can easily mail them they're super lightweight I'm going to um, 
seal them and paint them up, fill them in so they have some good color and whatnot. And then I'm going to make like a little garden birthday card for the lady who is turning 100, whom I do not even know. But you know what? If we can brighten somebody's day with a card, we're going to do it. But yeah, definitely clearance at Joann's. This one was clearance too. I bought two. I do plan on working on them and like I want to open an Etsy shop so I want to get some stuff built up and so I can um, like make a video on it and then say hey this is in my Etsy shop so people can see it. Um, I want to do one of these in alcohol inks because a lot of um, if you're in the FSC uh, Facebook group foiling snobs club on facebook if you follow nancy stamps tracy schultz um ryan swift uh and a lot of people a lot of good people are in the fsc group and uh they i know a lot of them have some ink and so i want to kind of be like hey you know you have ink you're doing paper crafts but did you know you can also do other stuff so I want to do one with ink and then resin over the top of it and then I want to do one with um, different colored resins and kind of blow it out I watch a lot of Tammy Anderson and um, Tammy Anderson art I'll have her well she should be linked on my side for recommended um, so is the Nancy and Tracy my recommended videos. I love to watch them. So inspiration, inspiration. Got a shout out for my inspiration. And I got three of these because I couldn't pass them up. I want to keep one. I don't have a lot of Valentine's decor for my home. And I thought, how cute would this be hanging on my door? And I'm just going to load it up in the pinks and the purples and the shimmer and the shine. So when somebody walks by the door, it just glimmers. And then I'll do, I want to do one in the blues. You know, because not everybody likes pinks. Pinks is not my favorite color, but you know, it needs to be for Valentine's, right? But uh, yeah, I'm going to do some blues and some purples. So I'll have a red, a blue, and a purple one. But I'll sell two of them on my Etsy shop when I get that open. And then I bought this because a while back I bought the silver and I bought one of these. I don't know if I put it in my video, but they work wonderful. These are a silk screen. It's um, Joanne's version of the silk screen by Folk Art. Um, Folk Art plaid. This stuff goes on like butter. Cleans up super nice. And I wasn't thinking wood, even I bought that big old tray, not thinking wood whatsoever. This is going to be on paper. I'm going to do a jet black background and then hit it with gold, do one in silver, and then cut it to card panel size. And I just think it's going to look so yummy. I want to do some six by six panels. Yeah, I have... A lot of paper ideas to use with this um, yeah I got this at 40% I think I bought was this one on sale I might have bought this one at full price only because it was the one of two that were left they they didn't have much so it wasn't like oh I can come back with another 40% off coupon and then I also picked up their their version of the squeegee to put it in and you know this is going to work with a lot of other mediums that i already own so this is multi multi-use it's not just for those paints the next place i went was i made a stop at the dollar store because i've been finding a lot of interesting stuff at the dollar store lately um, these are like an MDF uh, pressed particles 
um, it's called wood animal shape. So there's wooden bits in there that they press together. Super sturdy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them aside from make them pretty. Probably put some resin on them and, you know, a coaster. I mean, how cute would that be? Just sitting on my desk, have a little butterfly. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with those. And then I got some napkins. I've been collecting napkins. They make great greeting cards. They make collage pieces, scrapbooking, um, mixed media. There is a lot per package. And I've picked up several packages here and there. So let me know if you're interested in trading up napkins. If you yourself have a collection of napkins and you're like, I only need like four. What am I going to do with the rest? Maybe we can um, swap some napkins. Okay. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Um, I don't have a lot of followers now. So <laughs> I'm not going to miss the comments. I might take a day or two to get to them if I'm busy doing other stuff. But even if this is a month down the road and you're like, hey, <laughs> most likely I will still have the napkins. So definitely let me know what you feel about that. So we did Michael's, we did Joann's, we did the dollar store. And now the sad part. My last few visits to Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, I have been hitting up here and there for weeks. I've been collecting the um, We Are Memory Keepers letterpress plates. I think they're really cool. Um, I googled it. I was like, oh, it has their own plate to run through your die cutting machine. Well, I was looking for it, trying to buy it. They don't sell it anymore. This is obsolete. They, and so I'm like, well, why does my Tuesday morning have so many of them? I mean, we've got foliage. We've got backgrounds. Some, uh, so nice. Oh, that's funny. Um, states. I mean, just. Now, the first couple I bought, I wrote on them because they were missing parts. One had a broken piece. But I was like, at that price, I'm not going to complain because you can still find these. They're anywhere from 15 to 40 bucks for these. I don't know. They're kind of silly. It's basically an embossing plate that's not a folder. Okay. Which means, you know, you don't sandwich. It's just a plate. I've used this one. <laughs> this makes really cute dots. But, um... So you ink it up, and I just use these. I took the inks, rubbed it on, and because they didn't have the plate, I made a few samples. I ran a, several test strips. I took one sheet of 12 by 12 of their thick um, letterpress paper that I also got at Tuesday morning. I made a sandwich, tried to figure it out, and what I found that is if I took my cuddle bug and I taped A and B together, I did. I had a beautiful piece of tape right there. And I made my own hinge, okay? And I ran it through. Well, it took, I'm not, I can't remember. I think it took two shims. My magnetic plate and the tan one because I think two B plates was not thick enough, but the metallic, the metal and the... Those two was too thick. I mean, you play around, you get the right impression. You put your ink on and you send it through. And it just is so soft and lovely. And, you know, because if you ink it up, you can uh, two-tone it. You know, I just used a paintbrush, picked up the Simon Hurley inks and painted it on to the plate to get that two-toned look super nice but that's what I did I googled it figured oh well their original plate is just longer it's got an automatic hinge and you go well I made my own practiced figured it out and all that good stuff 
Um, and then I'd stop by Tuesday morning here and there because, like I said, they had put up their going out of business. So I'd find a pack. And you know the weirdest thing? They're going out of business. You think everything would be on the shelf. But no, I'd go and find a pack of paper one day. Find some inks another day. Um, picked up some s more paper and some other stuff another day. Okay, I did. I wound up buying, see I got those on the last day. Hold on one momento. The first stop I made, I found like one pack of the 12 by 12. Okay, I mean for two bucks. This is some high quality paper. Yeah, it's only five sheets, but you strip it down and that's what I did. I only took one sheet to make a sample. And then I found, you know, you don't even have to use this. You can use your regular Nina Solar White. My apologies. Nina Solar White paper. Uh, anything 110 pound paper, anything 65 pound, anything, you know, in between. As long as it's kind of thick and can be pressed, if you can run it through your embossing folders, you can use the letterpress system. But on another visit, I found some more packs. So I wound up with a good stash of this, which I'm excited because I want to do some watercoloring on it. I think it's thick enough that I can get some good watercoloring out of it. And I wound up, my husband went with me a couple of times and he's like, hey, check this out, check this out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oops. But uh, so yeah, they had squares, they have... Uh, four and a quarter by five and a half you know good good sizes I'm kind of giving you a sneak peek <laughs> but uh, one of my visits with my husband you know I love him he does not get my crafting at all but he gets me and he's like hey honey is this the thing you need and I went what oh my gosh there it was the letter plus um, uh, platform okay and it came with some goodies which I pulled out I have to be honest this is my second video because my last video it sucked <laughs> so I'm like okay I got 40 minutes of just stuff I, I was like this is way too long for what I've got going on so I had opened it and everything already but no joke this letterpress if you google it if you try and find buy it good luck i couldn't find it anywhere and i was like oh that's why i made my own sandwich so here it is 19.99 and we didn't even pay that because they were going out of business it was like 20 percent off but this is what came with it i was actually really surprised i'm trying not to pick up some of this other stuff that i threw out it was very well wrapped. It had a nice, um, one of those plushy, plushy packages on it. Okay, this is the system. Super durable little thing. The hinge is loose, but, you know, anything with a hinge is loose. I'm sorry. So, if you go slow enough, you're going to hit that just fine. So, there's that. Then it has two shims, a cardboard shim, and then this nice little plate. So you put your paper down at the bottom, you use the double stick, you put the double stick there, then you put your plate, and then you come down and you smush, okay? Now it came with a plate, which I was tapping one of my boxes, I just noticed I have two of these now. So that might be another giveaway. We might have to do a series of letter pressing and um, do a little giveaway because it's got the hello, it's got um, wonderful, sunshine, happy, adore, and smile. Okay, and that's what drew me to this. Yes embossing folders are just like this they are probably a little bit easier to use because you literally ink it up 
put your paper in there, send it through the machine. Whereas these, you ink it up, you know, you do your stuff, you put your paper. It's a little, woo, my bad. It's a little, it's a little bit different, okay? But where the fun comes in, okay? Can you do this with an embossing plate? Can you put two words and emboss that? No. Could you do this and grab a set, put some flowers in there, and run that through? No. So I was like, oh, this is so cool. So I definitely want to do some videos on this and also the embossing folder and compare them. Uh, you know, even though this is obsolete, basically, you can't find it anywhere. I mean, if you see it for sale somewhere, go ahead and pick it up. Um, you might find that you can find your own sandwich. Okay, it's basically just being careful when you set it down that you're not moving stuff. You make your own sandwich. Like I said, I taped my cuddle bug plates together with some duct tape. Okay, just taped them together. It was fabulous. Oh, that's what it was. I had the brown shim, the brown tan mat down, taped to this. That way there, the paper wouldn't move. And then I taped this to that. And then taped it together and it it worked wonderful this is the double-sided sticky tape that comes with it they send you some foamy dots and a pack of little papers to make some cards and then of course the instructions so that's super cool I was like hot dog my hubby he found he found it it's gonna make my life so much fun so look out for some videos on this and we might do a little giveaway if anybody's interested. I might throw in like an assortment of papers because I do have um, quite, uh, yeah I might do that. I might do like a little stack of paper, a little bit of the double sided sticky because you know this double sided sticky. I cut it, <laughs> I cut a little three inch square out of it, opened it up did a little tacky and used it in my misty like the sigzix um is it sigzix sticky grid yeah so <laughs> yeah use what you got right so still at tuesday morning i did pick up let me move the big bin pardon me big bin i need you out of my way so i did pick up the um the burlap i have this idea to make some christmas ornaments i may have to stop at the dollar store and get another cheap pair of scissors but i'm thinking like gingerbreads um a little snowman the silhouette of santa you know um some big chunky uh snowflakes and ornaments some baubles because what i want to do is make some ornaments for my tree that's more rustic and then I might play around with trying to dye it with some alcohol inks and see how that goes but even though it's on sale you know definitely walk away if you can't put a use for it don't buy it I bought it it was on sale and I'm gonna be making some Christmas goodies with that then I saw this and I was like, ooh, that's a nice piece of wood. It didn't have a price. So I'm like, hey, can I get a, a price on that? And she's like, yeah, just a second. She ran back and here she comes with her manager and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's missing a piece. And I thought she was going to tell me she couldn't sell it. And she's like, it's missing a piece. We think we're not 100% sure, but if you really want it, you can just have it. Otherwise, it's going it, to, she says, literally, it's just going to go in our garbage bin. I was like, well, heck yeah. Are you sure you don't want any money for it? Because I'd have paid for it. It's a nice, nice piece of wood right there. And she's like, nope, you can have it. It is by Jen Hadfield, Home Plus Made, Layered Frames. So, yeah, it was, it's missing its a little frame thingy, that little piece there. But I ain't, I'm not sad at all. I can paint a scenery on there. I can resin it. I can 
I can do all sorts of stuff with this. So I was like, yes, I will take it home. Thank you. Have a nice day. Then another thing I picked up were these. I do not normally buy prepaid cards. I have some because once I bought a pack and <laughs> realized, you know what, I don't use them. And then when I inherited my mom's crafting stuff after she passed, she had some and I'm like, okay, I've got a lot of these pre-made bases that I need to use somehow. But these spoke to me a little bit. One, they said, ooh, I hope those are nice and thick for my letter press. So I was like, okay. And they are, they'll do the letter press. It has a very nice texture. And if I'm not mistaken, it's just a hair over a five by five square. Okay. So I cut this down in half and I literally have 100 sheets of five by five uh, card, card panels that I can run through my letter press with all those wonderful backgrounds and then just make a heap of cards. So sale items, think outside the box. Oh, I don't have anything envelopes that size. Well, if you decide to fold it and use it, slice it in half. I mean, we don't have to use it how it was meant to be. Some other things I got were some washi tape. And I was thinking, you know, I have a lot of the Tim Holtz washi tape, but I couldn't pass this up. Okay, so I'm thinking of giving one of these away with this in a couple of weeks on another video where I will use my, I have this one. I liked it. Elegant Flourishes. It's really pretty. So I thought, man, what if I make some card panels with um, some washi tape and just kind of be a little bit grungy, do a little, little fun with these and then do a little giveaway with them. So you'll have to keep watching. I will do a video using bow bunny and some washi tape and somebody will will figure out what you got to do to enter to win and we'll be giving away a little something something i also picked up the painted circles i just thought this would be a great background lay out all the little circles stamp them out turn the thing stamp it again <laughs> i don't know why circles are cute and then I got this Doris die cut embossing stencil. It is the uh, do more of what makes you happy. I thought that would be some cute card fronts. You know, even if I make up some different ones, alcohol ink them, do some, I could sell them just as the little doodads and if people are interested. So that's another thing. When you're out shopping, really think about sorry I'm shaking the table there really think about what you could use it for what you um, if you can use it multiple times like me I, I really want to open an Etsy shop um, I'm getting a few things together I just bought some do you want to see them I just I'm so happy about them hold on okay I bought envelopes. I bought matching envelopes for my Etsy shop. So if you buy a card from me, it will come in an envelope that is so me. Limelight. Isn't that a seven by seven square envelope? Granted, my cards are only six by six because a 12 by 12 you can only make into a six by six. But it'll just be enough room if I, you know, pop it up and do stuff. There'll be plenty of room. I got the little A2s. Four and three eighths by five and three fourths. I got the um, A7, which is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So a five by seven card will go in there. And then I got these. These are the number nine envelope for the slimline cards. A regular letter envelope you get a huge box at the dollar store I'm not knocking it they're you know 
They're utilitary. They do their job. They will get your card out there. But um, these are a little bit shorter. And for my um, my cards, I do an eight, uh, three by eight slimline is I think my my dimensions for my slimlines that I'm gonna start making. But I just this is for my business, and I ordered these from um, <sighs> the thing on here says big name commerce, but that's just who mailed it. It was um, envelopes.com. Envelopes.com. But yeah, they're sold in quantities or 50 or more. And for my business starting out, I thought that was a good little, good little deal. Kind of is excited about that. So all of my cards, when you get a little green envelope in the mail, you're going to know it's from me. They're so pretty. The only thing I don't like is this one is the angled. I was hoping they'd have this one but they didn't have it in the straight but that's okay it's still limelight but uh yeah so that is it maybe or i could show you no i'll show you those another day but uh yeah so there it is buy what you need and know you can use you do not have to buy it just because it's on sale. Um, but it's best to buy it on sale if you know you can use it. Definitely. Um, and I'm excited to do some more crafts with you guys. I'm going to do another craft with me video in a couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and then I think I'll do them more frequently. I had, I think there will be five days between this one and my last one. Um, I do want to get them a little bit closer together. Because like I said, I've got so many ideas I want to share with you. And uh, yeah. So happy crafting. I hope you guys all find joy in the little things. Your little successes and your little boo-boos and whatnot. Because remember, you can turn a boo-boo into something fantastic. Or chuck it. Nobody will know, okay? Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.